Cho and Exacto wagering. Here are the starters. Number one, Soup Bone Daiquiri, owned by Margaret Marino of Joliet, trained and driven by Bob Decker. The 1A is Soup Bone Wabbit, owned by Margaret Decker of Atwater. Margaret Marino of Joliet, trained by Bob Decker. John David Finn is up. Number two is Ariel's Betty, owned by Enlow Management Incorporated of Keville, Kentucky. Randy Gerald trains and drives. Number three is Riverside Joni, owned by Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky. Roy Finn is the trainer driver. Number four, Touch of Source, is owned by Nancy and Jeff Carey of Columbus Junction, Iowa, trained by Curtis Carey, Andy Miller in the bike. Number five, Splendor Triumph, owned by Gene Melville of DuCoin. Gene Melville owns Ray Gash Trains and Ray Gash Drives. She will march on. Number six is owned by Fred Finn Jr. of Newton. He trains, he drives. Seven is Seventh Score, owned by Iris Horowitz of Brooklyn, New York, trained by Steve Halford, his son, Stephen II, in the bike. At the post, the gate is rolling. Number three, Riverside Joni, the favorite, owned by Bobby Dexter of Paducah, Kentucky, who has owned Standard Breads for 50 years. He is looking on from the stands as we get set for the sixth race. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Seventh score is first away from the far outside. Ariel's Betty down toward the rail gets away second. And Splendor Triumph is up close in between those two. In fact, there goes Splendor Triumph bursting through a crowd of horses to get the lead. And Splendor Triumph gets over toward the rail, leading it by just over one length. Seventh score dives over toward the inside in second by two. Ariel's Betty goes third. Soup Bone Daiquiri is fourth. Touch of Source is racing fifth. Soup Bone Wabbit is sixth. She Will March On is seventh. And Riverside Joni the favorite is eighth and last racing better than a dozen lengths off the lead soup bone wabbit just made a break opening quarter went in 30 seconds splendor triumph is on top by a length heading up the back stretch seventh score goes second by two ariel's betty is third by two and a half then soup bone daiquiri followed by touch of source four more lengths back to she will march on another five to riverside joni who at this point is still a dozen lengths off the lead. Three more to Soup Bone Wabbit, who trails. At the halfway point, Splendor Triumph leads the half in 101 and 1. Seventh score is next. Ariel's Betty third. Two more lengths to Soup Bone Daiquiri. Touches source. Then she will march on. Riverside Joni still has more than 12 lengths to make up on the leader. Soup Bone Wabbit is last. Midway on the last turn, Splendor Triumph challenged by seventh score, who starts to range up alongside the leader. They're stride for stride. Seventh score gets ahead in front. Splendor Triumph is second by five. Then Ariel's Betty touches is source and soup bone daiquiri three quarters reached in 132 and two fifths splendor triumph and seventh score still battling the lead off the final turn five more lengths to touch a source ariel's betty then soup bone daiquiri in the fifth position into the final eighth mile, seventh score, short lead. Splendor Triumph is fighting back on the inside. Splendor Triumph and seventh score, then touches source and Soup Bone Daiquiri. Seventh score gets the lead a half length from Splendor Triumph, then touches source and Soup Bone Daiquiri at the line. Seventh score gets it by a length. Splendor Triumph was second. It is close for third, either touches source or Soup Bone Daiquiri. As we told you yesterday, we like to recognize milestone achievements at the DeCoin State Fair, and the young man who drives seventh score has just achieved one. This is the first winning drive at the DeCoin State Fair ever for Stephen Halford II. Stephen, congratulations. And it doesn't matter how many races a driver has won elsewhere, and Steve has won his share on the county fair circuit. It's always something special to walk into Victory Lane at DuCoin for the first time. This two-year-old filly, seventh score, is owned by Iris Horowitz of Brooklyn, New York, trained by Steve Halford, bred by Rudy Hendricks and others in a partnership up at Camp Point, Illinois. 
Phillies by March 7th, out of striking score by final score, 203 and 1. Number 5, Splendor Triumph, was second. The one Soup Bone Daiquiri, third. And number 4, Touch of Source, was fourth. Result is still unofficial. Official for the sixth race, a 7-5 exacta worth $68.86.